Why exposure is important when learning a second language. Unlike learning a first language, learning a second language is a task that can sometimes seem frustrating and at times even impossible. There are many reasons for this as learning a second language is very different than learning your mother tongue. Firstly, there are biological factors involved and the fact that normally children tend to assimilate things more easily than adults. Secondly, it is often harder to get the same level of exposure to the language than it is when learning a native language where repetition from parents etc. is constant. That is why when you sign up for an English class or any other language for that matter, teachers will try to replicate that scenario with endless repetitions and fun games, because the most crucial thing is getting exposure to the new language. The importance of the learning environment. According to a well-known study of second language exposure, the quality of the language environment that the student is surrounded by is crucial to success in learning a new language. On the other hand, the same study points out that if a student is only exposed to classroom drills and dialogues, they might acquire substantial mastery of classroom communication skills but still struggle to communicate in a natural language environment. Therefore, exposure to the new language should not be the only focus when learning that language, or they risk failing to know the correct usage of language or when to use it. As a EFL student myself at one point, I experienced this firsthand. The impact of genuine language exposure. Grammar and vocabulary are without a doubt an essential part of speaking and writing in any language. However, it wasn't until I started getting exposure from the outside world and comprehending the news and other TV shows that I really started to get a grasp of the language. I remember looking around my classroom and realizing that the students that were surrounded by people who spoke the same language were in a level far behind those who were more exposed to the new language on a daily basis. It is important to note that living in a country where the spoken language is English made it a lot easier to get the exposure outside of the classroom. However, many people tend to make friends with people that speak the same language or work at establishments owned by people from the same country, so they are never really challenged to improve their new language. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Obviously, different languages have different levels of difficulty, but one thing that everyone that speaks more than one language can agree on is that it is difficult and it can be stressful learning a new language, at least in the beginning. It is imperative that a student learning a new language is aware of the importance of genuine exposure. So when they are not in class they are still getting exposed to the language. It is also important for the student to understand that making a mistake on pronunciation or structure is part of the learning process and those very mistakes are what essentially will make them stronger at mastering a new language. Are you ready to teach English abroad? Thanks so much for watching. We are ITTT the leading provider for TEFL and TESOL training courses. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking that button down here and click on any of the videos here on the left for more interesting teaching tips for getting certified to teach English abroad and online.